Uh, but it's just unfortunate that um, um, some people who were really greedy uh, thought the best way to, um, to, to move this agenda was to push him out uh, of that industry and put, push him out of the, of the landscape so that um, um, they, they almost like want to assume that those deaths will be written off. All right, we've, we were also informed that you carry out evictions after midnight, picking up street kids and your evictions are quite emotional. You wouldn't look at who you are evicting, how old they are, and with convoy of cars. Is that true in Zimbabwe? Um, we have carried out evictions, yes, and um, it's not wrong with that. Midnight with street kids? No, I, mean, I don't know where this thing about midnight is coming from, but um, you know, street kids need some kind of work. I believe in, in, in human development, and, and I go out and get the street kids. But is that not taking law into your hands? It's not. It's taking the street kids and giving them a job. And yeah. in some cases, giving them a shelter because you let the street kids live in the property. Does the law in Zimbabwe say you can evict yourself? Or there is a law that. It, that's, that's why I'm asking. No, Don't there is a you law. Uh, yeah, 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 no, no, I understand. I see where you're coming from. No, yeah, there is a law where, you know, you've got to do the due process. Mm -hmm. And after you do the due process, you've got to have, you know, a letter from the deputy sheriff. And yes. you take that letter to the property. Yeah, so if you, that's the letter you take. But sometimes the deputy sheriff doesn't have enough resources to come along with you. So if you've got resources, you go along on your own. So then you can go back to Zimbabwe. Of course I can go back. I can go where I want to go at any time on any day. But do you understand the allegations against you in Zimbabwe? Do I understand the allegations? Of course I understand. There's including, so many allegations. Including the fact that you were selling properties before the tenure of the loan oh, expired. Oh, you're joking. Why well, was selling properties? Do I look like an estate agent? You did not sell any property. No, I oh, well, did. Do I look like an estate agent? If proof is given to you today that you sold properties, there is no proof that I sold properties. I may have represented entities um, in terms of uh, transaction, but I'm not a salesman. I never studied marketing in my life. So none of these allegations, Frank, are true, according it's to you. So every single allegation against me is incorrect. The link between Hamilton Finance and Hamilton Property, Hamilton Insurance, all these are, are your companies in Zimbabwe, right? I wouldn't say they're my companies. You're a director. Well, I'm not are you a director? I'm not a director, no. I, I was a director of Hamilton Property Holdings, okay. Private Limited, um, up until 2010. And, and I'm not a director anymore. So is there a link amongst the three? Hamilton Finance, Hamilton Property Holdings, and Hamilton Insurance? But, but when you say is there a link, I mean, what exactly? What, what, what is the link? I mean, you know, it's all part of Hamilton, isn't it? It's all part of the Hamilton group. It's all part of the Hamilton um, group that's in Zimbabwe. And uh, that's in other parts of Africa. And Finance Minister um, Honorable Tendai Biti blasted loan sharks, including yourself, obviously, according to the press. What is your response to this? Well, I mean, um, there's no response, really. I mean, at the end of the day, he's entitled to his own opinions, uh, an opinion. But I, I basically think that, um, you know, at the end of the day, there, there has to be collaboration um, in terms of the way he looks at financiers, um, especially established financiers, some of the ones that I, if I remember well, were mentioned there. And I feel that as a minister in his position, holding such a portfolio, I mean, he should be cognizant of that. But, but then again, you know, I... There's not much I can say about that. It was his comments. I don't particularly believe that um, the people that were referred to in, 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 in a press article, which, which again he might not be, uh, he might not have been involved with. I, I don't believe those people are loan sharks. And reports say that you purchased an apartment at the Michelangelo for 3.2 million. How true is that? Um, <laughs> well, for, first for, for starters. You can't get a decent apartment at the Michael Lang for 3.2 million, right? And you can't even, I mean, you, I don't think you can get anything decent for that amount there. What, what do you mean when no, you well, say decent? Nothing. Well, that's what I'm telling you. All these reports that you've been reading are totally fabricated. So how much is the apartment that you purchased at the Michael Lang? <laughs> what? You, <laughs> how much is no, it? Well, we, we, I don't need to get into that. That's, you know, that's is it more than 3.2? No, we don't really need to go into that. Um, that is my private life.
But Frank, how, how would you go around the world purchasing properties and when you are on the heat, you abandon and you leave? You abandon everything and you leave. Now you're in South Africa purchasing such apartments for such amounts. Yeah, but I can purchase as many apartments as I want. I don't think anyone is opposed to that. How many cars do you have? I don't know how many cars I have. You don't even know how many cars so you have? No, I don't know. I mean, how am I supposed to know? It's not like I wake up in the morning and start counting how many cars I've got everywhere. I mean, you know, that would, you know, see, but that, who that's purchases this vehicle? Well, you say who purchases these vehicles, I still haven't answered your first question, which is how many because cars Because you do don't know. So definitely yeah. then somebody's purchasing them on your you behalf. Know, you know, it's all in the system. It's all in part of the system. And how many properties Again, do you I don't know. around the world? No, I don't know. Again, that would be a task. I'd have to start counting. Is it true that you blocked um, the entrance to your apartment at Michelangelo with your... Rolls Royce and took up other people's parking spaces. That, that is not correct. That is not correct at all. Um, as a matter of fact, um, what it is is you, you've got an apartment block in Santon uh, where there was an episode where I drove, drove, drove into the apartment block and um, it was a rainy night okay. um, in the early hours of the morning and the, the security um, people made a mistake. And basically, um, I did not block that driveway. I just left the vehicle there because, you know, we needed to deal with the, with the insurance and everything else. And, you know, for, for, for the kind of motor that it was, I wasn't going to just, you know, sort of forget about it. I had to, you know, just make sure that the insurance comes in. And they only did that the next morning. Naturally, I had to go and sleep. So, obviously, some eager beaver has gone out there and started taking photographs. We understand Nicolas Singure made payment for a house in Greystone Park on your behalf in 2003. Is it true? Well, um, it may well be true. Um, I, 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 I do know the gentleman, or I, I knew him at the time, and uh, we did transact. Yes. He later fled the country in 2004. What do you have to say about the allegations that you could have been involved in externalizing funds? With oh, are you bank? joking? I would never. not be involved in anything of the sort. I've never been involved in any of that. As a matter of fact, I, I don't know how involved the gentleman you mentioned himself is. As far as I remember, he was a very nice man. Frank, you were seen with um, uh, the former president of Malawi, His Excellency Bakili Maluzi. What is your relationship with him? Um, oh yeah, he's, he's, like, um, he's like a father figure. Since when? How long have you known him? Well, you know, we've known each other for a while. He's, he's, you know, my, my dad's late now and uh, I need someone who's uh, who can advise me the way forward in life. The trip in Equatorial Guinea, what was it about? You no, know, it was just a trip. And you sponsored the trip? No, 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 you know, it's <laughs> what do you mean I sponsored the trip? You sponsored the trip, no, exactly what? that. Well, Did agree. you sponsor the trip or not? I wouldn't agree with that. I wouldn't agree that I sponsored the trip, no. It looks like you're on the run, Frank. No, but I'm not on the run. I'm then why are you abandoning your businesses in Zimbabwe? But why are you but not... But, but, but you say I'm abandoning my businesses in Zimbabwe, but I've got businesses in other places. True. Yes. But you also have businesses in yeah, Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe we know, we won't even touch on UK. We won't even go back to UK. Yes, yes. The fact that you're not even in UK. There are allegations against you again in UK yes. that you're unwanted all over the internet. Oh. You understand? Yeah. And you are not in UK. Yeah. I asked you earlier, yeah. when would you go back to UK? Yeah, I told you not you I'm sure. going to go sometime soon. I'm just, um, I'm, you know, I'm just enjoying the sun at the moment. And besides, you know, the, the weather up there is not very good for me. So is the weather not good in Zimbabwe as well? Oh, well, no. So the weather in Zimbabwe, South Africa, Zambia, Malawi. It's the same. It's the same, yeah. And reports about your friend, Nicholas. You denied that he never gave you any money? Nicholas? Nick Van Hustren? No, I told you already. I thought maybe I didn't tell you, but he gave me money before, yes. How much did he give Twenty five million dollars. What did you use it for? Well is it what you used to start this type of no, a flamboyant life? No, 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 no. I, I don't I don't, listen, I don't have a flamboyant life and I don't think you witnessed that. Uh, he he through one of my property companies extended twenty five million dollars as a facility. Mm -hmm. And out of that, I think we used 10 million, and that was in 2008. And, 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 and that's it. And does this Nick have links to the president of Zimbabwe, Comrade Robert Mugabe? But why should he speak to the president about my problem? I told you, these problems are not 
from higher up. They're all these little Mickey Mouse True, people. True, they're not from higher up, but yes. definitely. But why should, I ask the, why should I ask him to speak to the president about something that's so irrelevant? And the prison's got bigger issues to deal with. Besides, he's a, city, a senior citizen now. There are a lot of people, up, 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 you know, they're, they're but definitely when it involves his ministers. And this is the case in Zimbabwe. You've got a lot of rot in there. You being a Zimbabwean citizen and a minister being his child, you both deserve a fair oh, but judgment. The, but the ministers, at the end of the day, I can, I can do whatever I want. The minister can't. I mean, I've, I've got ministers that I know today, and you ask me the same questions. Why don't those ministers stand up for you? Exactly. No, but I would, I would not want them to stand up for me. Because the minute that minister lifts up his hand and mentions my name, then he's in trouble. Everyone's going to jump on him. He's in trouble with who? Oh, with the system. What is the system? Oh, come on. You know, you, you, know, you know what I'm talking about. I mean, you can't have anyone standing up for me right now, can you? And I understand that. And you've even dealt with pastors as well in Zimbabwe. You've taken properties from churches in Zimbabwe. No. Because they have come to take no, my land. No, I've money assisted from churches. Mm -hmm. I've, you know, I've assisted many churches and I continue to do so. Is it true that you're a pastor? No, I'm, 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 you know, I'm a deacon in the church. Which church? Well, my church, uh, the Ford and Faith Ministries. So you're a Christian? Yes. Then forgive all the people in Zimbabwe that have taken about, money from it's you. It's not about forgiveness, it's about the principle. All right, when did you leave the UK? In 2005. And reports say that you're wanted in the UK, is well, it true? Well, I may be wanted, but, uh, but, but, but I'm, 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 my, my lawyers are dealing with that, with the Crown Persecution Service. And um, what is your relationship with Obiang? <laughs> well, you know, apart from the fact that, you know, he's, 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 he's had a lot of development and achieved a lot for, for his country, um, there's nothing else really. You recently um, received about three or four certificates from Africa Heritage Society. Yes. And why is Mutuma Maweri writing articles in favor of you? Um, well, I don't know. He's obviously a very intelligent man. He can obviously see through all the hot Looking air. at your situation and Maweri's situation, no, I mean, look, looking I mean, at Zimbabwean situation, oh, oh my goodness. is he but your the, friend? No, well, no. no, he's not my friend. He's a person I know, but he's an intelligent man. So, you know, sometimes I uh, listen to what he has to say. But does that make your case any better? My case, that nothing makes my case any better. I don't have a case. What do you mean you don't have well, a case? What, this is just, whatever's going on is just hot air. I've told you before. Um, I understand you extended about one million rand towards youth development for the AHS. Tell us more about that. Why is that? Moving away from, from, from any figures, um, I think, look, it's important. Uh, during this dispensation that we're into, to add value to, to the youth in terms of youth development programs um, by way of education and what have you. Because you, your HDI levels, your human development index here is very low. And I, I personally feel that the only way in which we can improve the situation um, and, and move away from issues of, 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 of forfeiture of people's assets uh, by means that I, 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 I don't agree with, is to, to develop the human being. And you can only develop the human being by educating them, by financial literacy, and in many other ways. And I think that's the, the route that, um, that, that we want to take. We want to educate these people so that they have the right mindset to be able to activate themselves. Mm. There is a gathering that you, uh, you were speaking uh, about oh, on financial literacy. Do you see yourself as a fit person who can talk about such issues? Uh, well, listen, no one's ever fit to do anything, um, but we can only try. Either way, I've just been privileged to be in that position. But that is not what we're talking about. We're talking about developmental issues, sustainable issues in the mainstream economy and that, that is completely different. At some stage the police said you were off the hook. So how do you end up getting into trouble again? Look, at the end of the day, look, we all know um, that, that police in different countries have certain levels of corruptivity. We all know that the police are not always concise, and they're not always precise, and they're not always correct. So you can't say that the police are always right, um, because they're not. All right, Frank Buyanga Sadiq.
Tawanda Buyanga, any similarity or differences? No similarity or differences, mm -hmm. not also all parts of my names. Did you change your names? No, I made an addition to my name. And uh, that was done in 2009. And that was a, that was a legal act. It was done through my legal attorneys in Zimbabwe.